let us see what is inside the page folder let me open uh, my site.py file and uh, i have email form also open so for every page in the application i create a corresponding python file in the page folder uh, for example we have my site which is this page you can see the title of the page is my site so i have created a my site.py file and this file will have a class which is again my site and uh, it will have all the locator values which are uh, available on this page for example i have my site title and which is nothing but the title of the blog and i have post icon which is the third icon on this page and the locator value is given here similarly for android i have given the locator values uh, so you can notice that i have given a variable which is my site title and i am mentioning what is the locator strategy i am going to use in our case it is xpath and i am passing the xpath value similarly for post icon i am giving the locator strategy as accessibility id and the value as post and uh, you can also notice that i have uh, a if condition which will check if the OS which we are running on is iOS then these two locators will be used else which in our case is Android the below two locators will be used and when you come to these two methods which is get text my site title and click post icon uh, you can notice that uh, with the block title we cannot perform any click actions we have uh, only option which is to get text of the block title so i have named my method get text my site site title and then uh, we return the title of the blog this internally goes to base.py and then the base.py will internally take you to the page utils file here you can see the use of get text uh, when it, it takes a locator it will wait until the element is present and then it will return the text which is present on the page the next method is a click action and it is on the post icon so on the post icon you can user can perform a click action so i'm using the click method on this so i say self dot click and then i pass the locator value which is the post icon so if i pass this it will fetch the element and then perform a click action on it similarly if you go to the email form uh, we have a email input field and the accessibility id and values are mentioned here and we have a done button on this page and this is the locator value for that and with input uh, user will be able to send keys so i have used the send keys method so when i do self dot send keys and then i pass the locator value and i am also passing a text uh, let us get inside the send keys method here you can see that send keys method will accept a locator and a text value so in the first line it will wait until the element is present and then send the keys into the element which in our case is the email field so the text will be passed and then we will hide the keyboard uh, so that is the use of the send keys method and we have a done button and a user can perform a click action on it so i am doing self dot click 
in the same way i have created pages for password form and uh, sign up wall which is the first page where a user clicks on uh, login button 